right now I want to tell you about Henry and Donna Lou Rayhans. Um, Henry was a seven-time representative for the state of Iowa. Uh, he and Donna Lou were both widowed. They met, they fell in love, they had uh, just a, a fairy tale courtship and romance. They got married, and then two years later, Donna Lou started exhibiting some signs of dementia. Um, in 2014, Henry had to move her into a memory care uh, community. And Dorothy, I'm sorry, Donna Lou's daughters went to the administration and they said, our mother cannot remember our name. We do not think she has the capacity to consent to sex with Henry. And so they said, no more sex. We don't want Henry coming in here and having sex with Henry. So the administration then had to talk to Henry and say, um, you can't come in here and have sex with your wife any longer. So he agreed to that. But in um, May of 2014, they were in a double room. Uh, there was a curtain that he pulled around <coughs> Donna Lou's bed. And the next morning, uh, the roommate reported hearing sounds that sounded consistent with a couple having sex. So they notified the doc daughter. The doctor gained temporary guardianship. And then in August 2014, Donna Lou died. In April 2015, Henry was charged with third degree sex abuse. He was tried for it. Um, he broke into tears 10 times during his three hours of testimony. He said he loved Donna Lou. She loved him. He said, she treated me like a king. I treated her like a queen. I never did anything that was inappropriate or anything that she didn't want. The medical staff was also um, put on, um, they, they also testified. And they, they acknowledged that Donna Lou could not repeat the words sock or blue and that she didn't remember her children's names or a lot of other skills, but she was always happy to see Henry every time he came to visit. So on April 22nd, 2015, he was found not guilty. And it was because they couldn't prove that Donna was not capable of giving consent or that they had actually had sex. So these were the instructions that were given to the jury. A person lacks capacity to consent if the person was, at the time of the sex act, mentally defective to the extent that the person could not understand the nature and consequences of the sex act, rendering the person unable to offer effectual resistance to the approach of persons who might take advantage of weakness. That's a mouthful, isn't it? But the jury, and I think happily so, decided um, to acquit Henry and to not send him to jail for third-degree sex abuse.